Meet Daria Saltykova, the Russian blood countess who slaughtered 138 of her serfs for fun. It was said Daria Saltykova flayed her young servants, poured boiling water on them, and even trampled the belly of one who was pregnant. Odd things reportedly happened around Russian aristocrat Daria Saltykova's estate. Like a spider's web, girls would enter the widow's employ and never return. Screams and the crack of whips were said to have pierced the Russian night emanating from the so-called blood countess residence. Once, a priest was allegedly called to her estate to deliver the last rites to a pregnant woman on death's door. The woman had been beaten and stabbed to death. Some claimed her pregnant belly had been trampled. Another rumor tells of a villager passing by the noble woman's estate and spying the corpse of a woman wheeled away in the dead of night. Her body was flayed and her hair removed. Ultimately, the so-called Russian blood countess was eventually found guilty of having tortured and murdered some 38 of her serfs, though her total body count was allegedly closer to 138. Like bloodthirsty Hungarian aristocrat Elizabeth Bathory, Saltykova preyed almost exclusively on girls often as young as 12 years old. These victims belonged to the serf class a uniquely Russian status somewhere between slave and indentured servant. These girls existed to serve their masters, or mistress, in this case, and had very little recourse against abuses. Opportunities for justice were few and far between in 18th century Russia anyway. Thus the noble woman serfs had to deal with her insane bloodlust with their only countermeasure being calling her disrespectful diminutives behind her back, like Saltychika. Saltykova was allegedly a savant in violence. Her methods and weapons were diverse. She tossed boiling water on her victims, stashed logs in every room with which to beat the girls to death, set fires on their raw flesh, and pushed the girls down the stairs for minor infractions. An end to the reign of terror. That is how a whopping 21 complaints from serfs against their mistress Saltykova went ignored. It wouldn't be until the 22nd complaint in 1762 that Saltykova's bloody reign was finally ended. Catherine the Great was on a razor's edge politically. She wanted to prove to the masses that she cared about them. But she also needed to assure the ruling class that Russia would not become a free-for-all. Multiple witnesses were thus called into a two-year investigation of the murdering aristocrat, during which Saltykova was held in a cell in a Moscow monastery. Hundreds of peasants testified to this and Saltykova was subsequently accused of beating some 138 of her serfs to death. She faced expulsion to Siberia. Ultimately, the bloodthirsty countess was found guilty of murdering 38 people sentenced to spending her life in near darkness and isolation, and allowed out of her cell only for weekly church services, and had only avoided capital punishment because Russia outlawed the death penalty in 1754. Daria Saltykova died in 1801 after enduring over 30 years of treatment nearly as harsh as that she dealt her serfs.